So the thing we're doing here at Facebook is we partnered up with Facebook for a Super Mario Maker Facebook Hackathon for two days. What that meant was we invited employees, engineers, designers from Facebook to come check out Super Mario Maker for two days, make their own course, and at the end of that, uh, kind of crown one course the grand prize winner, who we're going to give the opportunity to kind of feature as the Facebook course that represents the entire company. So what we were looking at when we were judging levels was actually a number of factors. You know, at Nintendo, we really value fun, surprise, creativity, where on the Facebook side, they're looking at like open, honesty, moving very fast, breaking things, which is great because Super Mario Maker lets you do things you could never do in a Mario game before. So as we were playing these courses, it was both like a delight and also a little bit difficult because of the volume of amazing courses, kind of whittling it down to just a few and even one was the most difficult task of the day, I think. What I really liked about Shiplove and thought it deserved to win was really the intricate amount of detail that went into creating every interaction. There were a lot of puzzle-like elements that felt, you know, when you, when you came across a thwomp that activated a superstar or you came across a group of red Koopa shells that you might have to grab a fireball and then throw flames out at them with Yoshi was just really satisfying and the level just made you smile the whole way through. There were challenging moments but it never felt unfair and it always felt rewarding. Yeah.